hard to see my wife being attacked by these demonic forces of evil, suffering, hurting, in pain, with a fever. It's hard. It's hard. Knowing that the government is murdering so many of our loved ones and not being able to do anything, I choose to expose it and not to take part in their evil works. I choose that. I choose Jesus Christ. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but those that lose their life for Jesus will save it. I will not take part in their evil works. Hurts. Hurts. To see what the government is doing to my unborn baby and to my wife, to my family. It hurts. And now, I gotta go away. Can't be around here because they want me to be on lockdown. And I have to be away while government is murdering my baby and my wife. Well, my wife is struggling, hurting. I am ready to lose it all. As Job, I will not fail, my Lord. I will not surrender to the evil one. I will not take part in his evil works. Psalm 71, in you, o Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong refuge to which I may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man for you are my hope O lord god you are my trust from my youth by you i have been upheld from birth you are he who took me out of my mother's womb my praise should be continually of you i have become as a wonder to many but you are my strong refuge let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your glory all the day do not cast me off in the time of old age do not forsake me when my strength fails for my enemies speak against me and those who lie in Wait for my life. Take counsel together, saying, God has forsaken him. Pursue and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O oh God, do not be far from me. O oh my God, make haste to help me. Let them be confounded and consumed, who are adversaries of my life. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. 
my mouth should tell of your righteousness and your salvation all the day for I do not know the limits I will go in the strength of the Lord God I will make mention of your righteousness of yours only O oh God you have taught me from my youth and to this day I declare your works your wondrous works now also when I am old and gray-headed O oh God do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation your power to everyone who is to come also your righteousness O oh God is very high you who have done great things O oh God who is like you you who have shown me great and severe troubles shall revive me again and bring me up again from the depth of the earth you should increase my greatness and comfort me on every side also with the loot i will praise you and your faithfulness O oh my god to you i will sing with the harp O holy one of israel my lips shall greatly rejoice when i sing to you and my soul which you have redeemed my tongue also should talk of your righteousness all the day long for they are confounded for they are brought to shame who seek my hurt psalm 71 okay. isaiah 40 28 to 31 have you not known have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth should faint and be weary and the young man should utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord should renew their strength. They should mount up with wings like eagles. They should run and not be weary. They should walk and not faint. 41, 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. See, God has us in the palm of his hand. When we walk by faith, not by sight, we just delight completely in him because he who began a good work in us is able to complete it and i know that when it's time for god to call me home i am ready i will not take part in the works of this demonic evil government that is doing the work of Satan. If you are taking part in this demonic plan of the evil one because you are afraid, because you are walking by sight and not by fate, you will perish. And my friend, if you sow into the flesh, you will reap corruption that leads into life corruption that leads into death but if you sow into the spirit you will reap everlasting life so no matter the storm out here the trials if we lose it all like Job we must keep our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ we cannot serve two masters we cannot take part in the things of this evil government his plan that is all about everything that is against God. This government has so much blood and so many have bowed down to obey their demonic plan of evil. And someday you will hear these words, depart from me, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity, you who practice lawlessness, because your faith has been on the created things, on the creature and not on the creator.
because you have fear man and not fear God so guys I'm uh, getting ready to say goodbye to my wife and I I know I'll see her again if not here up there so I will not take part in this plan of the government I will not I'm ready to lose it all for the Lord that's not for me that's not for me this is for me right here choose this day whom you will serve as for me and my house we will serve the Lord it is hard but God is faithful God is amazing I have to leave I got a hotel for just two nights right now see what happens later uh, but uh, they want us to be isolated for two weeks uh, so I'm not gonna listen to man I will not listen to the government when everything goes against God's word I will reject it and accept only the truth the living word that is living sharper than a double-edged sword so God's word it's alive and I will put my complete trust obedience faith in his word I am ready to be slaughtered by this demonic government doing the work of evil so I have to got my bag ready I got my Bible and I am in the Lord not taking part and so many you know so many of you that are taking part in this plan of the government you have bowed down to bow to Satan you have bowed down to the enemy you have bowed down to the deceiver the father of lies that has destroyed countless of lives and for this reason we are being persecuted because you are part of their demonic plan by taking part in their demonic plan so if you are taking part in their plan repent and get right with God because the blood will be in your hands just like in Ezekiel we must warn them we must expose them if not their blood will be in your hands gotta say goodbye to my wife <sighs>